Hey! Welcome back to Fire Emblem MS Paint Plays, not Fire Emblem. And today, we're finishing the game! Yup. Despite the fact that there are one, two, three, four zones left, only like two of them are actually zones. Which keeps in accordance to our, um, one, uh, two zone and episode structure. Because we are already at the end of Hidden Palace. Yep. Here it is. The final class with Knuckles the Echidna. Oh, well, that was... That was funky. That certainly was, uh, an interesting experience there. Got him. Behold, the instant shield. Good move. There, we beat Knuckles. Yeah, this is why I said the Hidden uh, Palace Zone wasn't really a zone, because we're already done. Why the fuck are the emeralds blacked out? Oh, oh, oh they flickered. That was weird. Maybe a problem in ingulation to steam? I don't know. Basically, this is the moment Knuckles realizes Eggman is a liar. At least until Sonic Adventure. Also, you saw his bone structure. Oof. Yeah. And then he, like, he's hurt, shakes his head, gets up, like, looks back to you, and that's when he's like, wait a minute, we can be friends. But he's panting because he's hurt. Because, you know, he just got fucking electrocuted to- I said the F word in the opening thing again. God! <sighs> Surlier am bad at this. I was at 54 seconds. You know, I didn't have much more to go before I could swear. Alright. Well, there he is. Eggman flying away on the Death Egg. Knuckles is going to use the last of his strength to glide over and make a bridge. See you later, Knuckles. I probably could have just made that jump myself, not going to lie. And here we are. The Sky Sanctuary Zone. Where we get Egg Robo. Or not, because apparently I've just gone too fast. Oh, might see one now. There's one. It shot me. It's dead. And, yep. Whee! Those are kind of fun to use. Sky Sanctuary has a cool aesthetic. A pretty alright song. Um, I'm not crazy for Sky Sanctuary's um, music, but it's not bad at all. Doo -doo -doo. And we get to bounce on clouds. And then... We get not Metal Sonic. I think he's called Mecha Sonic. And look at this. A callback. I mean, on the one hand, this is the first boss of the series being used in the finale. Not the finale, but one of the final levels of the third game. So difficulty-wise, it's a bit below the curve. But it's still cool. It's a nice nod. Goodbye, Egg Robo. Yeah, despite the fact that Metal Sonic is an established character by this point, because CD came before this, that was not Metal. That was not Metal Sonic. Yeah, that was uh, Mecha Sonic. I think his name was. What's the difference? One's Mecha Sonic, one's Metal Sonic. It, it sounds like I'm fucking with you. I'm not. That uh, I do not understand why they are different, but they are. Gotta bounce off some clouds. Oh, that was a bit lucky. Totally should have gotten punished and hit by that. But hey, we're fine. And hey! Oh yeah, take it back. Remember we said that one boss was a nod to the Metropolis Zone? Yeah, I was a little off. It's this one. However, it's easier... <coughs> because we have... The... Yeah, we have the Super Shield. Yep. So... We've got references to Sonic 1 and 2 bosses from Mecha Sonic. Allow me to repeat that. It's not Metal Sonic. It's Mecha Sonic. There's a difference. Right, come on, get back here, you... Yeah. Thank you. Okay, then we want to go up here. Yeah. And then I want to... Oh, oh, no, we're fine here. Just going to take a trip up. Bounce off some clouds. Uh-huh. Yep. Gonna get over here. And we're having a good time. Oh god, I didn't realize... 
Oh god! Oh my god, I have to redo this entire thing. Yep. All because I was impatient, accidentally used hypersonic, and then got too fast for my own good. Okay, oh, it's, it's fine. Take it slowly. Uh-huh. Bounce off this cloud. There we go. All right. This shouldn't be a problem, I think. Oh, God, it's so hard to control hypersonic. All right. Yo! All right. Okay, I think this is the way to the boss. I think I have a shield on... No, I don't have a shield under this. All right, here we go. Boss battle against Mecha Sonic. Come on. Got him. We got through Act 1. If I remember correctly, it's the only act. Yeah, it's the only act. And there goes Mecha Sonic. He's off to be the final boss for Knuckles, because for some reason, Knuckles doesn't get to go to the Death Egg. Yeah, I'm not sure why. He's just not allowed. Running, 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 running. And we can clearly make that gap. Yeah, clearly we can make that gap. But we're in the Death Egg Zone. Really cool aesthetically, really cool music, really cool level to play. This is a really good final zone for um, Mr. Sonic. Especially when I don't... Yeah, fuck up. Yeah, this is... Of the Genesis games, I am going to say that Death Egg is the coolest final zone. Um, in comparison, especially to, like, Winged Fort... I, I'm ashamed of myself. Like, the final zones in the previous games weren't, like... Honestly, the best zone. Like, Scrap Brain Zone in the original was okay. Winged Fortress was a, not, but yeah, Winged Fortress after Metropolis Zone was like this super hard mechanic themed zone. You had Winged Fortress as your finale? And it even wasn't even that good, in my opinion. But Death Egg is definitely fun and difficult and everything you like to see, especially my own impatience getting the better of me. Oh, yeah, this is... Yeah, nope. Alright. Give me another chance, platformer. Thank you. Woo! 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 Oh. Okay, note to self. Stop being so goddamn impatient. It's the final zone of the game. Well, final proper zone. There's technically one more zone after this. But this is the final zone of the game. For all intents and purposes. Oh, hey. Don't double jump whatever you do for the love of God. I... Why am I so fucking stupid? Why... <coughs> oh, God. Okay, if I do it a third time... I thought I could... Oh... I am... I am... I'm upset. Alright, well, you know what? We're going to go an alternate route this time. Alright? Maybe happiness awaits me up here. I cannot believe I did that. I cannot. I am better at the special stages of this game than I am at this game itself. <sighs> no, no, that was, that was my commentary, guys. How'd you like it? Rate it out of 10 right now. Good? Bad? I thought it was pretty good. Alright. Uh, mm, mm, nope. Hey, get in that hole. Thank you. And then we're gonna go over to here. Yeah. And we're good. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. That's okay. We got more rings immediately. And lost them. Also immediately. But we got them immediately again. And then over here is... Oh, God. Hey, guys. It's all cool here, right? We're all homies. All right. Mr. Platform, please take me to salvation. Got it. Oh, God, I jumped the gun. It's okay. This is probably an okay thing to do. 
I had to assume. Yeah, we're cool. We're cool. That speed running strat. Oh, this one. Basically, right here, there's that thing in the middle. We gotta hit all those switches while bouncing. It's a little disorienting, but I just gotta. Okay, go up a bit. Nope. Stay do stay still and do absolutely nothing. All right, that strategy didn't even work. If doing nothing didn't work, what else am I gonna do? That's all Master Luigi taught me. All right, uh, hey, hey, there we go. Ah. Hey. hey, 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 come on. Oh god, this is this one's actually a little tricky to do, so I'm not as I don't feel as bad for messing up. There we go. All right. Got it. And then they'll be free to... Yep, let me through. And I believe we're nearing... Every time I say we're nearing the end, we are, like, not nearing the end. So I'm never going to say we're nearing the end. Because we're not. Mm-hmm. Take me up. And here we go! Whee! Mm-hmm. Boom. Oh god, I... <sighs> That's okay. I'm just gonna... Keep doing dumb shit until I die. N never punished. Never punished. This is the inherent flaw with designing Sonic bosses. Alright. But we ain't even done. This boss has a phase two that I am equally as afraid of as the phase one. Which is terrified. Oh god, I did not do that well. It's fine though. We're cool. Everything is fine. We're just gonna fight this boss with a little bit more tact and care. Oh, hey, look at me. Doing the exact same thing I did before. Not quite the exact same thing I did before. Oh, God. Yeah, I'm dead. Yeah, I don't even know what killed me. That ball back there. That's what killed me. We're fine, though, you know? Completely fine. Now, will I learn? Uh, survey says, how about no? The real thing I need to learn is to not be in the center of the stage. I, I have no excuses for that one. My own impatience is my problem. If I weren't impatient, I would be fine. However... All right, messed that up. But now I am more to the center so that when the ring falls, I can fall back on it. Unless I do that shit. Oh, come on. You can't just come up when I'm coming to kill you. All right. That was my own fault. Where's that ring even going to go? On me. Cool. I have no idea where I am. Hey, buddy. There we go. That's a cool mid-stage boss. Okay. Now it's time for Death Egg Act 2. The final act. I believe. Does Death Egg have three acts? I don't think Death Egg has three acts. But now we get to see space. And once again, we defy human law, and because we're... I might be the first person in the history of the universe to have died to those spikes. To have died to those spikes. 
I don't think... I didn't even think it was possible to die to those spikes. But... Oh yeah, now we got gravity manipulation and shit. Death Egg is a really cool final stage. I really like Death Egg. Even if... Oh God, I've just done so much embarrassing stuff this uh, finale. Like, I played it so bad. <clears throat> but you know what? We're at the end. And in the end... We're gonna get through it just fine. Just hunky-dory. God, I'm really showing the kind of people that raised me when I use a phrase like hunky-dory. Jesus Christ, I'm 23, not 53. Oh, well. That's still fine. Yep. Hey, buddy. Yeah, I've learned. Alright. I did not learn from that, though. Alright. We. Hey, buddy. Ooh, not gonna give me that time. No, sir. I will never get godded, ever. I am immune. I tried to do the spiel shield thing, but he was too close to the ground. I didn't just jump into the guy like a moron. I had a plan. All right. You can't prove I'm lying. All right, continuing to run along. Woo! Let's get gravity back to normal. Yeah, not anymore, you fuck. Oh, yeah, this this, this is kind of cool one. We have to use the power of gravity and seesaw mechanics. Really wish people playing Fall Guys would understand this. But... Oh, God, I did it wrong. Oh, this was the wrong way to do it. Huh, well. How, um... Oh, God, I gotta go through all of this again. God damn it, this game punishing me for my failure. Why can't you just let me get away with sucking ass? Why can't you give me a new funky mode? It's getting too hard. I did the same! <sighs> We're fine. We are just moving along, grooving along. Having a good time. Alright, gravity has returned to normal. Fuck you. I... Now it's just on principle that I take a hit to kill you guys. <sighs> Got it. Oh, and there's a checkpoint, of course. Okay. Another fucky wucky gravity time? Okay, we're fine. Alright, now what's in here? Oh, another one of these things. God, I love the background. It's just the world. Uh, Mobius or Earth? What is it? What's it called here? Does, does he still live on Mobius by this point? Have they retconned it into being Earth? Or is Mobius always just a comics thing? And he never lived there in other games. Alright, well, regardless... Alright, yep. Moving along here. Let's go, Speed Racer! Woo! Making all the loopy loops. And then... Y you can drop us, you've just been going in circles. Thank you. Perfect. No thank you, sir. I choose to not die today. All right, and up we go. I think we're nearing the end, maybe. And one more of these. Oh! Ah, uh, you know what? I'm just gonna take the hit and go. I don't know why the fuck it's doing that. I've never seen it do that, but fuck it. All right, boss time. The first of three bosses. God, this one's also really annoying. All right. So it drops those little crabs. And then when we switch gravity... Yeah. We just have to make spikes hit them. Yep. 
That's it. That's the boss. Oh, I didn't mean to do... Oh, well, perfect. Kind of boring. And then right out here. Ought to do it. Yeah. It's just kind of very, very slow and boring. Because you just walk in and out. Sometimes you hit them. It's okay. You just walk back in. And then those two should... Yeah. And then you walk back in. That is a really cool idea. It's just not good in execution. Like, when I think of a gravity thing in a 2D platformer, I think Gravity Man from Mega Man 5. And if, like, you're being outstaged by Mega Man 5, which is, like, the worst of the classic Mega Mans, you know you've done something wrong. Like, come on. Yeah. There we go. Hey, Eggman. Here we go. At the start of the age-old question, how is Eggman outrunning Sonic? People have asked it for years. But, we have the really cool boss music here. One of my favorite tracks in the Sonic Genesis titles. And then we have this. This is a final boss. Hell yeah, like, listen to it. This actually is the final boss for Tails. Oh god, I fucked up. Nah, that's not good. Yeah, for Sonic, though, this is merely the normal ending final boss. For Sonic. Ah, uh -huh. listen to that music. Oh god. <sighs> Got it. This is one of those bosses that likes to give you no rings, so if you didn't... If I die here, I have to go through all of this with no rings. Which isn't a problem, because the thing that kills you in this boss is normally its second phase, which is just an instant death. Alright, what do you got here for us, buddy? Alright. So now we stick to the right. And here he comes. The true final boss. He'll occasionally exhale fire. You have to not do what I just did and jump too low. You gotta do something a lot smarter than that. What is with this trend of me just embarrassing myself? Super bad. But as you can see, now we have no rings. Yep, and then we want to get in the sweet spot right here. It's, it's, it's damage. It's free damage. And now that we've created the gap. Yep. Boom. Come on, give me your last finger. Mm-hmm. Go on. There we go. Now, what I'm going to try to do this time is keep to the right. He's going to exhale his fire. Jump over it. Got to hit up there. And you have to hit the... You have to duck. You have to... What do you have to do? I think you have to duck. This boss is not easy. Especially when you haven't fought it in years and you forgot the pattern to it. This boss also has three phases. I guess technically four if you want to count uh, the Doomsday Zone. If, by the way, Doomsday Zone. You don't hear many people talk about that in their classic Sonic Zones. Oh, that was... That was kind of cool of me. Alright, come on. Fuck up the fingers. Alright, one more finger to go. This is not the phase that scares me. Let's get to the phase that scares me. There we go. All I have to do is remember what the fuck I'm supposed to do against the, um... Yeah, no, I believe I have to duck. And not get greedy for two hits. It's okay. Go on, bud. Getting your big, scary mecha. Ooh. I'm a big, scary mecha in space, but I'm going to attack you with my fingers. Ooh. Yeah, get the fuck over yourself. Yep. Yeah. Mm, see? Not so tough now, are you?
Mm-hmm. And you're dead. Okay, so now we try this again. And this time, we do the opposite of messing up like we've done all those other times. We did the same thing. I said we weren't going to mess up, and then we did mess up, and that's comedy, but it's only comedy when you're not expecting it. When you know I'm a fuck up, and I fuck up, I'm just fulfilling the status quo. Alright. Come on. You ain't gonna get me. I become smarter. Yeah, uh huh? Of course. Mm -hmm. And then once we get one finger, yeah, this boss, this phase becomes super simple. Nice. Going on over. Got him. Okay. I think you actually can jump over the Master Emerald shot, but it just requires very specific timing. Yeah, like that. And I did the... I see the weak point. I see it as vulnerable. My monkey brain goes, ooh, 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 hit point. It's okay. It is a-okay. We're fine. This is what long finales are for, right? Watching a man suck ass on the final boss. All right. Boom. Uh-huh. And... Nope, nope. One finger clings to life. Okay. Let's not do the same exact thing again. Look at it. And I timed the jump wrong. Okay. We're fine. We haven't. We have not even come close to reaching the full levels of sucking ass that we could problem is, to even get to the phase that I'm struggling with, I have to get through a whole ass like minute of fingers. Uh-huh. Go on, bud. Show me what you got. I fucked up that one. I just wasn't. I didn't feel comfortable. Yeah, okay. Yep. Oh, god damn it. Got him. Okay. <coughs> We're fine. And then. So that does kill me. Why didn't it kill me that other time? Okay. That's how we're playing? Huh? That's how we're doing it? Come on. Come on, big guy. I ain't afraid of you. I wasn't afraid of anything. Yep, go on. I am so angry at myself. <sighs> it's fine. Oh! I. Oh my god, if I died there, that'd have just been the end of me. Uh huh. We were doing so good on time. This is gonna be a nice, brisk, simple finale. But I should have... I should have remembered who I was as a person. Honestly. That was my problem. Yep. Yep. And then... Alright, damn it. Wasn't enough. There we go. Okay. Mm-hmm. And then we go and hit that. Oh, we remember that goes up. The fire. I timed it wrong. I timed it wrong. The audio cue cut out the first time, so he wasn't used to it. It's okay. We're, we're fine. Oh, God. Mm-hmm. Da da da. Mm-hmm. Go on. Yep. 
Aha. Jaha. Okay. They have gotten really good at the finger part. Now how about the part that matters? Fucker. Uh, read your fire. Then I do that. Right. Okay, as long as the audio cue comes on. <sighs> Looks close, but we got it. Mm-hmm. There we go. We're getting a rhythm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. You can't get me. I've got your pattern. Mm-hmm. Go on. Snort fire at me. See if I care. Mm-hmm. You're gonna exhale fire? Oh, really cool. A regular human torch you are. You think it's funny how I stop my commentary the second I have to focus and jump? Huh? There we go. Alright, but we're not done. There's still one more fucking phase to this. Mm-hmm. Yep. Just have to not fall. It's just nerve-wracking. Because if you fail, gotta do the whole fucking other phase over again. Oh. There we go. This would be the end of the game. But we got the Doomsday Zone, and we can't wait. Hey, uh, sorry about that. I made a boo-boo. So, we're just gonna pretend like it never happened, and we're just going through the Doomsday Zone, like regular. Now, for those of you wondering, this is the super boss final zone of Sonic 3 and Knuckles. Where, basically, we are Seizure Sonic, and we have to go fight Eggman in whatever death contraption he's made. And like all Sonic Super Sonic fights, we just have to not lose all of our rings, which becomes increasingly more difficult as we get fucked by missiles. Perfect. So, there we go. We got 90. You might be thinking, whoa, you have almost 100. That's plenty. It's not. This, uh, this can get fairly difficult. Um, and I'm upset that I messed up with it. So now I... Okay, here we go. This is the first phase. And like many of Eggman's mm, greatest, quote-unquote, creations, he would be completely invincible if he didn't actively fire the things that can hurt him. We just gotta guide these missiles to his head. This is the first phase of the Doomsday Zone. He would be literally invincible if he did nothing. But he did something, so here we are. Just gotta guide them into his head, like, a bunch of times. Oh, God damn it! Alright, well, come on. Oh, shoot. Uh, ignore that. That was an accidental uh, trigger finger there. Oh, God, there's three of them. But I'm not afraid of missiles. I'm afraid of my own stupidity. Alright, just come on. Last missile? Last missile? Yeah, okay, that was... Hey, that's pretty good. Now it's time for the second phase. The almighty Eggman technique of running the hell away. In this one, there are rings all around and we can constantly get them, which is good. Nah, unless you, you know, completely miss like I just did. And what you have to do is he's running away with the Master Emerald. It's his grand, uh, grand escape. Oh god, I'm missing like all the rings. Oh god, oh no. Yep, there we go. And eventually you'll catch up to him right here. And he'll start firing things back to hit you. They exist just to hit you. You have to touch them. Yeah, now all of a sudden, you're allowed to hit them. But if you can remember where the rings show up, you can constantly just get more rings 
And when the time comes to touch him, you just have a stockpile of rings saved up and ready. But you have to go forward. You can't just play back and try to grab rings or else you'll never hit him. But if you go forward, you can't see where those come in. This, this is not... See? I had no way to stop that. So... I can try to press forward. Yeah, there we go. I got a hit. It didn't look like it because I still got bounced back, but I definitely hit him there. So now at this point, you just grab some rings to try not to do what I do and completely mess up. There's a pattern here, but I can never remember it because I. how often do I even play the Doomsday Zone? Answered, not very often. Yeah, so just got to wait. Rings will show up. If I remember correctly... Should be, yeah, the six right here, three right there. And then you just gotta go forward. And then as soon as he tries to fire his bullshit, yeah, go down a bit. And now you play back, you look for the rings, you miss the rings. Oh god, do you miss the rings? Oh, but you grab them right there, grab them right there. More ring, please give me rings. The, the ring, yeah, rings, rings, hmm. The ring. Oh, the thing. Oh, God, I always mess up that six cluster. And then you can kind of just... You can't spend all the time in the world because there is the nine-minute limit. But as long as, like, you go on the offensive often enough, you shouldn't... You shouldn't die here. It's hard. Don't get me wrong. Especially, though, now I remember that there are rings up. Yeah, there we go. Now with this, you go forward. Then we start to fire off. I didn't even need to go down there. They just let me have that. So collect rings. Stay towards the up. And the cluster of six. The cluster of six. There it is. Right there. Stick to around up here. And then with that next cluster of six, you feel confident enough to go forward and touch his butt a little bit. And then you go forward. You, you play back. Collect rings. This is a very slow and methodical fight. It's not... It's not very... Let me... The Adventure Games definitely got the idea of supersonic fights way better. But hey, this was the first time they did this. So... I can kind of forgive a little bit of a uh, misstep along the way. Uh, because hey, we're Sonic in space. This is super cool and definitely not something that's going to become completely overused as the series goes on. Sonic in space? New. Unique. Cool. Super interesting. Uh, let me try to go away from my established pattern that's completely safe, just to... Alright, I fucked it up. Alright, of course. Yep. This is what makes you lose. Just like in uh, Dark Souls... You lose to your own hubris and trying to break the safe pattern you've established and not actually the game. There we go. That's another hit. That slowed me down to get that ring, which is cool and hip. Um, I'm now missing the rings that I was getting so securely. The six should be showing up soon around like here. There it is. Yep. And then when I grab the next thing of six from right around here... Yeah, this is when I go. Then I go lower so that those things don't hit me. And I got him. It only took me about seven minutes. And there we go. Um, I do feel bad about the recording fuck up. It, I don't even want to talk about it. It's a little hiccup. I'm still, still bad at this whole recording uh, footage thing. But now we get to watch the true ending of Sonic 3 and also Knuckles. And look at it happening. We essentially just take the Master Emerald, and we fly, we fly, and hey, there's Angel Island, distinctly not Angel, and we give this back to Knuckles, and all is right in the world. And apparently, I don't know if this is true or not, but apparently in the Knuckles comics, where the Angel Island falls creates a, a crater, and that crater gets called the Down Under. And it's a new civilization that lives in that crater, and it's essentially Australia. So in Sonic canon, the fall of Angel Island creates Australia. 
which is fucking hilarious. But with the Master Emerald returned, Angel Island is now able to fly again. And Knuckles... Knuckles is there, saying goodbye, until the game kind of forgets that Angel Island exists after Adventure. And it, it... It comes up in a few side conversations, but originally Knuckles was like, I must protect the Master Emerald and never leave my island. And then as the series went on, they kind of just stopped having Knuckles have to have a reason to leave his island. It's not mentioned as much anymore. Which, I don't know, I don't like what they do with Knuckles' characters in later entries. Like, they make him way more stupid than he was. Like, he was gullible. He wasn't stupid. Nowadays, though the boom iteration of Knuckles is hilarious in the cartoon... Modern Sonic, in general, doesn't have Knuckles as good as he was in the olden days. But here I am, bitching about the characterization of a red echidna that can fly due to keeping air in his dreadlocks. Really goes to show what, uh, what I do with my life. Nothing good. Um, the credits are here, and I'm just gonna... Oh dear, oh, there's an error here! What, what is happening? What are these strange black lines? What is... Could it be that I'm not playing on an original Sega Genesis and some kind of Steam release of Sega Genesis Classics that allows me to fast forward, which is really only useful in, like, Shining Force, because when else do you need to fast forward a Sega Genesis game? Fantasy Star. It would also help in Fantasy Star. But wow, what is... What is this? Oh, man. Presented by Sega. Whew, that was a... That was a weird little thing that just happened. But hey... There we go, and for the true ending, we get Seizure Sonic, and also Knuckles. And there we go! That was Sonic 3 and also Knuckles. Thank you guys very much for watching. Um, enough of you guys comment consistently, watch, excuse me, and enjoy it, that I'm going to go through as Knuckles. So stick around tomorrow for that, for the Knuckles playthrough. And uh, thank you very much for watching. Well, see you next time, where we finish the game again. Have a good one.